Howdy! The goal of this series of classes is to make you fall in love with bioinformatics. Whatever you are studying now, computer science or biology or mathematics, we want you to consider bioinformatics as well. Why? Because bioinformatics is a new frontier in all these disciplines and because it is built on all of them. I first learned about bioinformatics when I was completing my PhD in discrete mathematics a quarter century ago. And the moment I heard about this futuristic new discipline on the interface of computing and biology, I instantly switched and never looked back. At that time, bioinformatics was an obscure discipline. But today, it is a huge field that is making a digital revolution in biology and that opened the era of personalized medicine. But one thing has not changed. Bioinformatics remains the same frontier, the same wild west as it was a quarter century ago. And that is why we are wearing this crazy outfit. You mean, apart from the fact that they look good on us? Sure. <laughs> in this specialization, we're going to discuss many questions that are asked in modern biology and medicine, such as, which animal gave us SARS? Or, do we have a clock gene? Or, how is it that we find disease-causing mutations? After we ask each of these biological questions, we'll then learn about the computational approaches that are used to solve them, from clustering algorithms, to evolutionary tree construction, to machine learning approaches. Along the way, we're going to travel back in time to solve a 300-year-old mathematical problem, wander around Manhattan as tourists. We'll even get lost in a Japanese casino run by Yakuza. All of these adventures may sound like risky propositions, but we hope that you will join us to see what they have to do with bioinformatics. Although these instructors may appear crazy, they are not quite as mad as they look. Dr. Pavel Pevsner is a distinguished professor of computer science at the University of California, San Diego, and a leading authority on bioinformatics. He's dressed this way because he sometimes thinks that he's a sheriff of bioinformatics, a frontier discipline underpinning the digital revolution in biology and personalized medicine. Dr. Philip Campo is an assistant professor of computer science at Carnegie Mellon University. To learn why he is dressed this way, you'll need to take this course or read the textbook, Bioinformatics Algorithms and Active Learning Approach, co-authored by the two speakers.